like a charger in there. Some leads. We'll open them all up in a minute and see what see what they are. Here's another box. And then in the bottom is one more box. I'm guessing one contains the controller and one contains um, the quadcopter. So as you can see there's there's the box, nothing else in there. This is, there's the charger, it's E4AC input Sky RC LiPo battery. Um, like I say, I've not used RC equipment before, not flown a quadcopter, I've only um, flown helico uh, small helicopters before, so I've not really had any experience with RC equipment. Um, so that's the LiPo charger. leads here has to do with the charger as well um, that needs an adapter I'm not sure if we've got an adapter with it for this um, and there's also looks like they go into the charger and then charge your battery on it by the looks of it not 100% but that looks what it is and some instructions for the charger instruction manual in English a manual on a disc right several sets of propellers so that's one two three four five six so it's 12 propellers in there possibly brought 30 pairs so that's another 60 there so I should be ready for a few crashes okay. inside this Oh, there's quite a bit inside that box. Um, there's the user manual. And that's the Storm Racing Drone. It's a Type A with NASA V2 GPS flight controller. And it shows you what's included in the package. See that that's really well packaged in there. That's very good. Really pleased with the way that's packaged, so nothing gets damaged. So it's got these foam inserts on the controls. Uh, so basically, it protects it and it's not damaged at all. Um, Guess that's just a bit of packaging. A bit more packaging. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Right, I've got to learn all about these receivers as well yet, yeah, because obviously I don't understand anything, um, hardly anything to do with them. Right, there's nothing else, oh yes there is, yeah, I was going to say there's nothing else in the box, but I can see there's a lithium ion battery in the side, so let's just get that out of the box before we forget about that. So this battery is inside here, oh there's two batteries in there, these are the two lithium ion batteries. Do not load or transport package if damaged. So um, two two batteries. One is one comes with it free, and the other one I've um, paid the extra for. I think it was about twenty eight pounds. So it's thirty five pounds to have all those extra props. You have to buy thirty in a package, 
and it's £28 to have, um, to have one battery. So um, it's obviously dearer for the 4S, the batteries, and the props were dearer. Yeah, that's two LiPo batteries. So I, I believe they say they give you between 10 and 11 minutes each. So you put one, one battery onto the quadcopter, and you get 11 minutes of flying, your alarm will go, and then um, you fly, and then you change the battery and try the and, and try the other one um, and there's your little alarm what I'm guessing you put it onto the white one um, so that goes onto there you can put it on strap it on top of the battery and then put both of those onto your quadcopter right so back to the controller so aerial on the top we can flip up um, let's have a look at the back. Right, we've got a battery compartment on the back. Looks like we've got some connectors. Looks like there's a connector in there and a connector in there. Um, I'm guessing on this one you can put LiPo. Oh, here we go. I've got a lead there. It looks like this compartment comes out. Yes, it does. So it looks like you might be able to right so these are double eight batteries it'll take eight of those in in, in there um, but it also looks like you may be able to put lipo in there um, yeah it does say it's a charging point you can't see it on there but it says chg there and it says it's only used for charging um, rechargeable niam or nicad yeah, NIAM or NICAD battery packs. And this one here, I'm not sure what this is. This says DSC, so you might know what that is. Maybe that cable I was shown earlier. Um, maybe this one, maybe that goes into there. And then you can connect it to a computer or something for like flight training. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you can see there's a display as well on here to re read out. Um, let's see if we can take these off. That's quite good. That's quite a nice, decent, decent one. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I obviously not been into radio control equipment before. I've still got a lot to learn. So, um, but that looks pretty decent to me. So it's got a bit of protective covering on there, which can just be peeled off. So that's that's that. Right now, let's move that box out of the way. Let's see what we've got here. This looks very impressive. Right, there's a package in here. Not sure what any of this is. Uh, right, there's a lot of cables and other stuff in here. Sorry, I'll move it over a bit so you can see a bit better. Right, I really don't know what, why there's a piece of carbon rod in there. <laughs> But it's uh, chamfered on each end. I'm sure I'll soon find out what the carbon rod's for, and it may be something to do with the GPS. Hold the GPS up on it, but I'm guessing that's already it. No, that is already it. All right, that's a spare carbon rod for the rod for the GPS on top of the storm. All right, inside the, the bag, there's a load more bags. Ah, oh, right, I can. Right, you'll have a job to see on here. Let's. Uh, don't know if we can open it. Oh yeah, we. I think we can open this. Right, here we go. This is a USB cable, so I think, from what I've heard, the the flight controller on the actual quadcopter itself, you can attach a USB cable. So it looks like micro USB goes into the quadcopter, and then USB goes into your computer. So I'm guessing you can save the configurations because um, these are ready to fly, these quadcopters. They're, you don't build it yourself, it's already built, it's already configured, everything's already done for you. Because obviously I don't know that much about them and I wanted to build my own kit, but I wouldn't have known what on earth to do. That's what I need, I need to join a club. I highly recommend to join a club. Um, another bag with some pieces in it, which I really do not know what these are for either. Um, sorry about that, but um, maybe you have a better idea. I might be able to do another follow-up video afterwards um, saying what some of these pieces are when I find out what they're for but I um, wouldn't know what that is for and I really 
don't know what that is for. Might be something to do with GPS again. Um, some stickers of some sort. And there is, I can see there is nothing else in the box whatsoever. This box is somewhere empty. Let's put that over there. Okay. And that looks pretty impressive. Carbon fibre. I'm hoping you can see that right. Yeah, carbon fibre. Um, that is really impressive in actual fact. I'm really pleased with the cost of that. A um, good bit of kit. Right, so make sure you make a note of which um, motors these are on. Okay, because you're going to need to make sure you put the correct, the correct um, propellers, uh, the correct props on the correct ones. If you put all the same props on, um, it will not take off. So you need to make sure you're putting the props on. Um, I think, if I remember right, this one here and this one here will be the same type of prop. And then over here, this one and this one diagonally will be the same prop as well. Um, these are a 250 class quadcopter. Um, so you can go racing with them, but I have heard someone on YouTube say that um, I haven't measured this yet, but they said they've measured theirs and it comes to 280 mil from there to there and it's quite specific when you go racing for it if it measures diagonally 250 mil so um, basically they've had to 3D print some new arms on here um, and take these ones off so that they can shorten it to 250 it looks like there is the NASA GPS, something to do with the GPS. It looks like the OSD inside there. Um, and I believe this has a light there for the GPS as part of the GPS. The GPS aerial goes up like so. And oh, it's not all the way up, there you go. And uh, there's the aerial for the video signal as well so uh, it's pretty pretty good stuff um, basically I don't know what a, what a lot of the other stuff is on it but you can buy all this in kit form we've got lights on the front I think they're white lights I'm not sure they might be white or they might be sorry I put that in view they might be white or they might be blue I'm not sure so you can see the orientation when you're flying so at night that'd look pretty cool um, but I'm not sure if they're white or blue and then you've got at the back because the 4S has different ones to the 3S I've seen a lot of 3S videos but at the back you normally have red but these don't look oh yeah it's red yep sorry <laughs> right at the back you've got the red ones there and the red ones over there so you'll have red uh, when it's facing away from you and you know which direction you're flying in but like I say this is quite weighty I know the limp um, I think you're limited to three and a half kilograms when you're flying by law so I imagine it's under that the box does say three 3.7 kilograms on the box but you can see what's come in the package with the batteries and everything when this has got a battery added on it I can imagine and if you put a GoPro on it I mean that's pretty I'm resting my arm on my knee because that is quite weighty um, I haven't actually obviously weighed it yet because I've only got it um, but we'll do some more follow-up videos of it and uh, I'll do um, uh, what will probably be a nerve-wracking first video of it actually flying. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty impressed.